What's going on YouTube? I know it's been a while since I've done another video. Um, I've been kind of waiting to get a few more things come in before I did a, another video. But uh, this one I was very, very excited about. Um, I ended up purchasing another subwoofer from Barrett from Spec of Tech. If you guys have not heard of him or if you're not subscribed to his channel, check him out. He has some serious gear and he's constantly making changes and doing reviews. So please go check out his channel. Um, he posted up uh, a few of his subwoofers that he was selling because he's changing those out. And it gave me the opportunity to purchase, uh, purchase the one, which now I am purchasing another one. Um, so you're gonna have to wait and see which that is. But I purchased the Harbottle Audio C24L2. The L2 is their 4400 watt RMS version. It is a uh, carb 24 inch carbon fiber driver with a Baltic birch enclosure wrapped in carbon fiber composite. It is a very unique design. Uh, there's no one else out there making them like this. So it is kind of a one of a kind thing. So I'm very, very glad that I had the opportunity to purchase that from, from Barrett. And this video, I just wanted to kind of show that off. I have some more things in my room that have been changed and I will be showing that in another video. But uh, I, w I really want to show you guys this, this level for see just me standing beside how tall this thing is and how massive of a driver this is. I have my Dayton UM18 right beside this thing and it makes my 18 inch, which I thought were big drivers, it makes it look small. Even behind my Focal Tower, it just dominates it. It has a sealed enclosure which is wrapped in a carbon fiber composite. It has the beveled edges and it's tapered, so it's a little wider in the front, tapered in the back. So it gives it a very unique design and the carbon fiber actually helps the uh, rigidity of the uh, enclosure, which is made out of Baltic birch. Then you have the 24 inch carbon fiber driver, the display on the front, which can actually also be on the back if that's the way you want it built. And then it has the funk amp on the back, which is a, just a tiny small amp with a 10 foot power cord. Uh, it can be run on 115 volt or 240 volt. Um, and I had this thing playing by itself. None of my other subs were on. I had this playing by itself the other night. I had my wife crank it up and I could hit three, three of the green lights. I couldn't hit the yellow light or the red. And I had to get her to turn it down because I knew for sure my neighbors were definitely hearing hearing the bass from here. It's this thing is is way more powerful than I thought. It's 4,400 watts RMS, and from a 24 inch driver like this thing puts out some serious bass. Um, I'm hoping one day, maybe when my neighbors are all gone for the day or something, I can really push this thing and hopefully nothing breaks in my house. But uh, when when I have all my subs on, this thing is barely doing anything it's barely breaking a sweat so i mean i have tons of headroom running this thing so i'm very very uh happy with the purchase and uh no regrets there this this thing is, it looks beautiful this is the front display for the hard bottle and funk amps it has a knob which you can change eq settings change the gain there's a menu and an exit button, and then you have your limiter lights here, which are three green, one yellow, one red. Um, 
you can change the brightness of this. So this is on a dim right now. It can be brighter or turned off, which is what I run. So there's uh, zero distraction while watching a movie. But um, you can't control everything that you can control through the computer, but your basic stuff you can control through that front display panel. This is the DSP software for the Harbottle and Funks amps. It will give you a description of the subwoofer you have here, power button. If you click on this green one, it will bring up the DSP software where you can change your EQs. They have them all preset in there. I run none, which is no EQ because I run all my EQing through the mini DSP as I have multiple other subs that are still being used. Plus I run my BEQ for all the subwoofers on there. But this shows you pretty much what their EQ, uh, or sorry, what their DSP can do. Um, but again, I just bypass it and run it through my, my mini DSP. You can also connect the an ethernet cable up there so you don't have to plug in with a USB cable like I am right now. But I mean, I'm not making any changes on there, so uh, it wasn't really necessary for me, but it just kind of shows you kind of what their program is. So now I'm going to show you the Edge of Tomorrow intro scene, just to show you the uh, subwoofer driver moving. enjoyed this video of the Harbottle Audio C24L2. Um, if you haven't heard of Harbottle Audio, please go check out their website. Um, also, again, big shout out to Spec Barrett from Spec of Tech. Go check out his YouTube channel and please stay tuned for future video coming up soon. Um, I have more things coming in for this room, some more changes, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Thanks.